everybody. We are Hemlock. We're so excited to be here tonight and all we need from you guys to get started is a suggestion of a location like a summer camp or a fair or a saloon but not one of those places because we've done that before and you don't want to see a repetition. So give us something fun. And while you're thinking of a great location, below are some amazing links. We got one for the Magnet Theater, which we are all students and performers of, and then another for a cause we are very passionate about, Black Lives Matter. So if you have those extra few dollars, please throw them down in those links. And up tonight, we are going to explore a drive-in movie theater. So let's, let's see some scenes from that. Oh my God. I know. That couple has been making out for like the whole movie. Like why even pay for the movie if you're just gonna come here and just be in each other's throats? Just. Hey, get a room. Oh, no, don't. I mean, mind your business. So gross, right? I mean, who wants to watch that? I do, Janet. I'm enjoying this. This is this is better than the movie that you chose. I mean, I love you and all, like ladies' night or whatever. But like, look at that. Like, like wake up tomorrow with at least twenty hickeys on her. I mean, look, look. Oh my God, that was hey, Yeah. Okay, but <laughs> you're enjoying that more. It's just gross. It's like you know. Uh, yeah, I'm enjoying all over each other. Yeah, that's what that's what's enjoyable. Otherwise, there's just some tropey, you know, rom com over here, and oh, they meet each other, and oh, there's something that keeps what them apart. Romantic. That's kind of how it should be. I mean, how much romantic is this? This is romantic. That's just like you know, like entangled with each other and slobbering, and you know, sucking on each other's necks. I mean, gross. This is this is beautiful. What's happening up there? I mean, you know, they hold hands, they walk down the sidewalk in the park. I mean, it's just, you know, they're getting to know each other. Ew, vomit. This is how people get to know one another. I'm sorry. I bet you these people are on their first date. I bet you they don't even know each other's last names. Yeah, but like, what is there to get to know after all that? I mean, like once they're like, you know, sucking at each other, like, do you really want to go backtrack and walk down the sidewalk in a park? Zoom over to our first date. My last name is O'Donnell. Oh, you're Irish. Oh, oh my God. I figured with all the freckles. Oh my goodness, your freckles are so cute. Just like nuzzle. No. <laughs> okay, okay, my turn. All right, my last name is Johannes Bergensen. <laughs> oh my goodness, I love that. Is that uh, sw Swedish? Yeah. Swedish, yeah. You don't oh, like the meatballs. Yeah, I took a 23 and me and it mine was like 60% Irish, 10% Swedish. Yeah, it was fun. Oh my God, that's so fascinating. I know, I'm, I'm so glad that 
I'm so glad that I ran into you at the at the stop and shop. Yeah, you know when I couldn't figure out um, what kind of potatoes to get. I guess it, it makes sense now. I mean, you're Irish, so you know about yeah, potatoes. Right. Yeah, no. Yeah, of course I of course I did. My family went through the potato famine. Um <laughs> I, Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> you're so cute. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, oh my god. Yeah. So I mean my family, I guess, is also like pretty stereotypically. Swedish um we really love um we love like meatballs we <laughs> like love uh, we love like yeah like Ikea we love um we love windmills <laughs> <laughs> zoom over to the concession stand <laughs> oh okay I'm gonna I'm gonna take a break in like five and get these skates off of me but before then hey so Becky um, let me know if you're able to take my shift later, um, because I think that cute guy in car, I think in the, what is that? What is that? Like a, a Prius? Yeah. I think that guy in the Prius, I think I might go and, um, uh, sneak him some extra popcorn. Jeez. Jeez. I, I, it's just I, heard, I kind of heard what you're saying. You want me to take your shift? Well, no, I'm, I'm going to go on break in five. So if you can take over a little bit, because I want to, I want to bring some extra popcorn to the guy in the Prius. It's a really hard time. I don't, I don't know. I'm feeling a really, um, I'm feeling really nervous. I can't, I can't get balanced on these skates. It's just, here. I, 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 I need to practice more or something. I don't know if I can, is, can you just talk to like, you know, Sandra yeah. and have her take over your shift for a little bit? But but what are you gonna do? You still have to do your own shit. Look, look, look. Here, here. let me give yeah, you. A I, it's all I can handle. Let me give you a tip, and I promise you, this is what got me through. Because I remember when I first started, woo, it was a doozy. Like honestly, like ugh, just a mess everywhere. All you have to do is like bend your knees. Okay. Right? Like 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 your squat, like a squat. Okay. There, like the center of your gravity will just hold you down. Okay. It's, that's my philosophy in life. When I feel like I'm stuck and I'm, I'm going crazy, whatever, just like bend your knees and you can hold yourself down. Okay. okay. Yeah. Um, so okay. I, well, I, I got to deliver these, these, uh, these shakes. So I'm going to just bend my knees, bend your knees, hold yourself down. You got it. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Uh, yep. Uh, yep. I'm like feeling really, oh, um, it's going to take me a little while to get over there. So um, can you just ask? It's fine. It's there. like a three hour um, movie anyway. So like, and half the time people don't come here for, for the food. They come here to like have a little privacy. But yes, yeah, oh. so you're, you're good. You got, you got my back for that five? Yeah, I, I suppose, but I, it, <sighs> What what orders what what orders are are up for you or on their way? Like, do you have how many do you have? Which cars are you covering? Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. I have um I have spots um five, nine, and eleven. Oh, and they all are yeah, yeah, but no, it's cool. It's like picture like a diamond, you know, like shine bright like a diamond kind of vibe. It it it'll be totally fun. You're gonna grab grab the tray up top, and they all have the same order. Top. Yeah. How do I keep my knees bended? To Do stay in the movies. Jennifer. Jennifer, how could you leave me like that? I just wish we weren't separated, Bradford. <gasps> the distance that is caused our relationship because your father and my father do not get along. Oh, yes. You know, your family, the, the Pontigues. <laughs> and your family, the Maculates. <laughs> but it's okay because one day, someday, somewhere we'll find a new way of living. Oh, oh, Jennifer, oh, Jennifer, where for art thou love 
and us be together as one one day without a family feud. Oh, Bradford, of where there'd be a rose with such a name as Bradford. <laughs> it's so romantic. I only know of one way in which we could be together forever. <laughs> You're telling me that this is better than watching those two people like <laughs> they just, they just love each other. You can see it. It's like this is oh, it's so beautiful. <laughs> hey guys, here's your your milkshakes. <gasps> oh, oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Why? Yes. After meeting you at this fancy party with masks, I do believe I will marry you. Secretly, oh. even though we're only 15 years old. Oh, oh, I I never shit. Such a romantic gesture, and I I will be there for you unless someone gets in the way, like our families, and then there's only one thing to do, and that is die. Oh honestly, I'm, I'm telling you to pick the movie ever again. Sweet. I want that kind of love. What <laughs> Love. Okay, thank you again all for coming in today, but the point of the Tin Man is that he doesn't have a heart. So I think you may have gotten the character description wrong here. Uh, we're going to be going moving forward with some other actors. Badoom, 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 badoom. No, no, beating your heart faster is not going to make me change my opinion. <laughs> oh, no, you don't. Come on. No. Oh, oh, one of them just <laughs> cardiac arrest. No, no, it's it's not. There's other casting calls out there. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> hey, get a room. Mind your business. God, you, I'm coming over there. Hey, hey, stop it. That's gross. What? You're ruining my show. <sighs> I'm sorry, um, the screen is up there. Yeah, well, like, I've been watching the screen, but my friend over here keeps watching you, and I'm just being grossed out about it. I can't, like, I can't ignore this. It's distracting from my screen. Ignore my friend. Keep going. Live your life. Like, it's really not a big deal. And, and like, also, like, you're doing great, sweetie. I oh, mean, carry on. Th thanks. Um, I mean, I... I don't know about you. I don't necessarily mind an audience while uh, we're making out. Oh. I, I don't either, as long as they're, you know, nice about it. Yeah, well, obviously, I mean, you're doing your stuff in your car and there's windows all around. So, you know, it's pretty obvious you like an audience. I I mean, I mean, like, I, I, I just think that, like, we all should be open minded about things. And if you want to watch us instead of the movie, I'm OK with it. Yeah, Nancy, learn your manners. Let the children make out, okay? It's fine. Yeah, but Sarah, I came to watch the movie and not be distracted by all this, you know, phys physicality and slobbering and stuff. It's ugh, so gross. Extra popcorn? Yeah. 
Thank you. I have lost my appetite. No, thank you. Honestly, I've just gotten hungrier. I just ordered like three hot dogs. Just keep them coming, you know? Yeah, I have really fun. good on skates. Yeah. Well, I guess we should yeah. get back to it. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Keep going. Gross. I'm, I'm, oh. <sighs> nice. I hope there's a sequel. <laughs> Edit. Bring back Katie as a skater. Oh, so how's it going? Oh, my thighs are killing me. Holding myself up this whole time. Well, I mean, what would you rather do? You knew, but you, you knew it was a, a, that was part of the gig. Is it like it's a skate drive-through. Yeah, I know. I just I like the idea of being active while I was working. I thought it was pretty cool. I mean, like you know all like i've i've emulated i you know i've admired you and i wanted to like kind of do this and it's a great way to meet people and watch the movie at the same time you know oh, i mean it's a great way to meet people and oh i admire you too i admire that you're always willing to just go out there and try something you know like you whoa i gotta hold on oh did you see that i gave you a little heart thank you sweetheart a little heart right back at oh, you. Oh, you're so yes. cute. Yes. No, I mean, honestly, I think, look, I've known you for so long now. I mean, it, it's, it's just, it's one of those things where I think sometimes, you know, we, we don't always have to do the same thing, you know, like I might be really into like skating. And once my roller derby career went belly up, this was the next best thing. So maybe I'm so sad for you when that happened. Zoom a flashback to Sammy's peak roller moment. And here we have uh, number 95 in the roller <laughs> derby, uh, known to everyone as Miss Skates herself. And look at that form. Wow, that turn move was pretty fantastic. But wait, oh, it looks like someone spilled their big gulp on the rink. Oh, let's see if Miss Skates can, oh, oh, it looks like, oh, that did not look pretty, everyone. <laughs> oh, that big gulp seemed like it may have gulped her career. <laughs> why, why me, why? Well, back to the present. I just, I felt so bad for you, you know, like, I mean, it was happened. I don't even know that friggin' jerk who flipped his big gulp on on the the track. Like, I mean, that's why liquids are banned. You know, like yeah, right. But you shouldn't have had to like take the hit for that and end your career. That guy should have like you know ended like he should have just been banned from drinking big gulps and like ever going to roller derby again. But you are the one who had to suffer. I relive that in my mind. It feels like it just happened like just yesterday, even though it was so long ago. But I get to be here. I still get to gently glide on these skates. And it's 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 a connection. And I think that's what you need. You need to have your connection. Edit. Oh my God, this is the first time I'm seeing myself on the screen. And this is just this is just horrifying. Like people aren't even paying attention to the movie. I mean, there's a couple over there basically having sex in their car. There's roller and skaters everywhere and they're just basically falling on their knees. I mean, you're you're my agent. Tell it to me straight. Just, is this, I mean, I can't, I can't keep doing this if this is what it's going to be like. This is what it's going to be like. What? Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to lay it out. This is what it's going to be like. Um, if anything, I think you have a career as being a cult classic um that's that that that's a that's a thing that's a thing we can ride this so right now this is garbage this is it, it's flaming it's hot garbage but what? no 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 hear me hear me hear me but in a couple of years this will be the thing that people lose their shit over at home when they're bored and they want to just watch mindless mindless things i'm telling you i'm, I'm planning your future don't look at the now look at the look, look at Ahead. Tag out, tag out Sammy, zoom into the movie. But, but my favorite nurse 
at this hospital. You are my, my best friend and companion. Should I go ahead and marry Bradford Pontague like I want to? <laughs> After love here, reporting for duty, you should marry me. What? what? That is a plot twist I did not expect. But we've been friends for so many years. I have not seen your, your flirtatious advances before. I will operate on our love and you will see that we are meant to be. Well, but I, I am torn now. My friend, the nurse. Bradford Pontague, the sexy and mysterious man I met at the masquerade party? Who sh I don't know who I shall marry or love or do anything with. There must be some kind of medicine. I'm, I'm going to run off and I'm going to pretend to die and whoever doesn't think that I'm dead or will die with me will be the person I marry. Okay, bye. Uh, no, I'm gonna hypnotize you. Hang up low. Uh, welcome, I'm Nick Jonas to the 2021 Oscar nominations uh, <laughs> announcements. <laughs> I am joined by my extremely gorgeous wife um, and we will be announcing the uh, nominees for the best um, featured actress in a new movie. And the nominees are um, Jennifer Lawrence for her portrayal in Silver Linings Playbook 2, <laughs> Gold Playbook. Uh, next, next up, we have the uh, nomination for Emily Blunt for The Devil Wears Prada 4, Maybe She Wears Gucci. Uh, next up. We have Amy Adams uh, for her portrayal in Arrival 2. <laughs> They're here. <laughs> <laughs> we also have um, another nomination for um, Amanda Seyfried in Mamma Mia 3. Are we really doing this again? <laughs> and then last up, a newcomer to the scene. No one knows who she is. Her name is Bethany Manchester for her portrayal as sexy nurse in the Romeo and Juliet spinoff, Jennifer and Bradford. What a cult classic. A cult classic. In the same year. Same exact year. <laughs> Incredible. We are, we really, we, congratulations to all our nominees. We're so excited for you. Uh, again, oh. I'm Nick Jonas, and this is my super hot wife, Priyanka. Yes. And it looks like we actually do have the, the newcomer here. Um, I was really hoping we could have a brief, brief interview moment with her. Um, Bethany, if you're there, you could just give us a, a wave or a notice. Um, you seem excited. Uh, oh, oh, shit, you can see me. Uh, um, uh, just, I can't even, I'm, a, I'm among greatness. I mean, Amy Adams and, oh my God, Amanda Stay for you to, uh, wow. I thought, my agent told me for sure this was a stinker. I just, I did not expect to be here. Wow, and Nick Jonas, and wow, Priyanka, you are so hot. Oh, thank you. Tag out Aaron and Mel. Hi, um, you ordered uh, the hot dogs and french fries before, um, you know, while you were watching the nominations? Uh, yeah, don't tell anyone that they were for me, but yeah, you could just put them down. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. No, it's 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 a thing now. You know, they have like you know waitresses on roller skates at the Grammys, right? It's okay. You don't you don't have to worry about it. I'm just I'm a little wobbly because I I'm not really good at skating. But um, did you did you want anything else like like a shake maybe? Um, we also serve Jello shots, so you know I can get you some of those too because you might win, right? And wouldn't it be good to like you know have a little alcohol in your system, but not you know. Ah, all right, Kate, I'm back from the bathroom. Uh, oh, oh, did you order? Did you order? Yeah, I'll, sorry, I'm her agent. So go ahead and let's get yeah. uh, two martinis, a hot dog, a popcorn, and some other stuff, yeah? Okay, and we've got, do you want curly fries with that? We got that? Oh, and, yeah. Cajun style. Uh, 
yeah we do have that there's there's um those are really hot like you know everybody's been ordering them but i think awesome. we'll have some left yeah awesome, awesome. Okay. all right looky here oh uh, bethany i know i haven't really we haven't really spoken much since the film but i just want to say i'm just so proud of you even though i wasn't nominated for my amazing portrayal um I just want to say, since, you know, we were in so many scenes together, it feels like this nomination is also for me. So welcome. we back. did great. Welcome back, everyone, to the Academy Awards. We had a really short time between nominations and the actual awards ceremony. I am Joe Jonas, and uh, my super hot wife, Sophie Turner, is not here, uh, but she will be eventually. So I'm here to... Um, announced the winner for the best featured actress in a movie and to recap our nominees were jennifer lawrence amy adams emily blunt and bethany manchester so i'm going to read read the, the not the actual winners it's so sad how they disqualified amanda seyfried because they realized uh, that it was amanda, and my i forgot amanda seyfried um i'm remembering that now as i'm reading on the paper who won all right and who do they get to to, to, to host these shows i'm, I'm sorry oh. i'm sorry i didn't get your jello shot Gassy. and the winner oh for her incredible portrayal in Romeo and Juliet to Jennifer and Bradford is newcomer Bethany Manchester. <laughs> what did I tell you? What did I tell you? Yeah. The scene partner. Oh I God, the scene so partner. Wait. Yes. Wait. That's hot garbage. Burn down the stage. We Look at it. you. We did it. Go, go give your speech. Go, go, your go speech. give your speech. Go, go give your speech. Go. I'd like to thank um, um, Mint Chocolate Chip Ice Cream for always being there for me when I needed it the most. And thank you for my agent who told me that this was steaming hot garbage but made me apply for a nomination anyway. Um, thank you to um, um, the woman over there on the roller skates for serving me french fries tonight. Um, oh, oh, you okay? Oh. Yeah. Um, and thank you to Nick Jonas and his wife for being so hot. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to spend the award money at Target. Thank you. Bye. Yay. Well, thank you everybody for joining us for the 2021 Oscar award ceremony. That was it. That's our night. Thank you so much. And that's our show. And that is also our <laughs> show. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We are Hemlock. You can follow us on Instagram at Hemlock Improv. Thank you for to George Tandy Jr. for our awesome intro custom music.